when you start, it's very young to be a program director. How did this come about? Uh, quite an odd thing, Michael. I was working in Miami at a radio station in Miami, and uh, I was approached one uh, Saturday afternoon by a gentleman I'd never met before, who uh, wishes to remain anonymous. In fact, I haven't seen him since, and uh, asked me how would I like to come to England, which struck me as being quite funny because I was pretty happy in Miami with the weather, etc. And uh, after explaining it to me about Radio England, it seemed quite a challenge, so here I am. Why on earth do you want to go to sea? I didn't really want to go to sea, but the uh, British government won't allow us to show us, and there we are again. Why have you got two stations on board this ship? I think there's a definite uh, opening for a station of Britain Radio's caliber because of the fact that we aren't competing with really anybody and the fact that we're playing music uh, about 20 hours a day, continuous light music for uh, for the housewives and people who don't want to be bothered with a, with a disc jockey on the air and have to listen to the disc jockey, etc. They've got background music provided for them. What about the other station? Uh, Radio England will provide a definite competition for the existing offshore stations. Uh, the fact that we'll be on 24 hours a day, and we hope to have a, a completely different sound from what they have. We're going to stress personality all the way. A little bit pop, basically. Pop, yes. This is quite an enterprise. How much does it cost to set up this uh, station? Uh, in excess of one million pounds. Well, where does that sort of money come from? Uh, from British, Canadian, and American investors. You can't name any of them? No, I certainly can't. Well, you probably know the Postmaster General, I don't think, takes a very kind view of pirate ships at the moment. What's your reaction to the fact that you might have only a, a year to live? Uh, well, actually, I think that it'll be about 18 months from the uh, best I understand before any action is uh, really put before Parliament. And uh, governments being governments, no matter whose government it is, they're known procrastinators and uh, might take a little longer than 18 months. But if we have to move out, they probably will extend the uh, limit to 12 miles, and with our power, we still won't be bothered too much. Would you still be able to cover the entire country 12 miles out? Uh, I wouldn't know about that. I'm not an engineer, but I, I hesitated to, to answer that because I don't think we would, but we'd still cover uh, our definite area with, uh, with London. But from what you say, it seems that you're determined to stay one way or the other. Uh, yes, and we have an alternate plan. If, uh, if England uh, falls through, we have an alternate plan. For another country? Yes. How worthwhile is it to you to defy possible government legislation to stop you being here? Uh, I think, as you already know, the existing offshore stations uh, make quite a lot of money out of uh, the uh, offshore broadcasting. We already have uh, in excess of 300,000 pounds committed to before going on the air. So we're here to make money. And, uh, of course, we'd like to make friends with it. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is a test recording on the Starlight Statesman ST666 tape recorder. This machine has four transistors and uses the rim drive transport system with a single swinging motor for both play and rewind. It has a half track head allowing about 12 minutes of recording per track. A single knob provides control for play, record and rewind, with a second knob for volume and recording sensitivity. It has a full metal case and uses two C-cell batteries and one 9-volt battery. Testing 1, 2, 3. Testing 1, 2, 3. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is a test recording on the Starlight Statesman ST666 tape recorder. This machine has four transistors and uses the rim drive transport system with a single swinging motor for both play and rewind. It has a half track head allowing about 12 minutes of recording per track. A single knob provides control for play, record and rewind, with a second knob for volume and recording sensitivity. 